The main job of a diode is to turn AC current into DC current. We've got three main rectifiers. Half wave, a center tap transformer, and a bridge rectifier. All of these circuits will take an AC waveform, such as this, where the current is going backwards and forwards, and it will turn it into a DC waveform, where the current is only flowing in one direction. The first one is the half wave rectifier, and it just uses a single diode. When we put the AC waveform on the input, the positive current will flow through the diode, the negative current will be blocked. And so on the output, we'll just get half wave. We'll get the positive half, we'll lose the negative because it can't get back through the diode, and then we'll get the second positive. So when it's connected to the diode, the diode will conduct when the current is forward positive, but will block the reverse bias current negative, and we get half wave. This is what it would look like on an oscilloscope. There's our four wave input and there's a half wave rectification. The center tap transformer uses two diodes. Again we've got our AC supply here and we're looking for DC here. There's our AC in. Now what will happen is on the, when it's forward, when it's the positive, current will flow through D1, through the resistor, back to the supply. When it's negative, it will flow through D2 through the resistor back to the supply. So what we got on the output is full wave rectification. The positive goes through D1, the negative goes through D2, but the load will see them both as positive. So when the supply is positive, the current will conduct through D1. When the supply is negative, the current will conduct through D2. The output supply will be full wave. The bridge rectifier uses four diodes. Again, AC supply in. When the current is positive, the current will come down here. It will go through diode 1 because it can't get through diode 4. It will go through there. It will go through the load. Back here. It will want to get back to the negative of the supply, so it will go through D3 and back there. So we get the forward through. The negative will come down here, through diode 2, through the load, back up here, through diode 4, and back to the supply. So we once again, we get the positive through, and we get the negative through as a, as a positive. It's changed it into a positive. This negative here has been changed into a positive. So when the supply is positive, the current will conduct through D1, through the load, and back through D3. When the supply is negative, the current will conduct through D2, through the load, and back through D4.